when you're on that, you see how that puddle started getting started getting wide on you? You started off beautiful. Alright, but then that puddle started getting wide and all that penetration is going underneath. Okay, so right when you're at it, but your your kid, your tungsten is way too far away from it. It should be all close touching it. Alright, and when it starts getting wide like that, just back off on the on the pedal, you know, pull it down. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is David McCoy. I'm the welding instructor from Pleasure Park High School here in Jefferson County. Uh, welcome to the first annual Future Women of Welding Welding Competition. Uh, there has never been a competition of this, of this um, type. And I've been teaching for 21 years. And in my 21 years, only one class in 21 years had I not had females in my program. This year, I've, I have 20 several schools the numbers of the young ladies that are getting into this trade are growing immensely you know so given a small number of of young ladies a small group rather um i've always had an idea to have an all-female welding competition so this is the first time that there has been a competition of, of, of this type and um i've always had an idea of wanting to do an all-female welding competition because i think it's important not just to uh, include this group being as small as it is but to celebrate the opportunity for them to, to be in such a trade such as it, as it is. Um, when I talked with Nick Brown and Jeremy Killenbrew here from the 502, we were talking about this competition, and they welcomely said, we'll do it. We'll host this competition. And that's where we're at. We've been fortunate enough to have 14 different schools here, and uh, we've got uh, multiple partners from Jefferson County and all over the, the state. And uh, we've had almost $15,000 donated in prizes and such. So it's a really good event. Okay, that's, and that's what we're here about. I'm not going to babble too much, but that's, that's what we're all about. The competition is set up on three levels. First level is uh, sophomore, freshmen and sophomores, first-year students. Level two is uh, juniors. And level three is seniors. So there's three different levels. And as you see by the trophies behind me, we're, we're having trophies first through fifth place in all three levels, so uh, it should be an awesome thing. And, and they, it, the drawings are pretty complex, and I'm anxious to see how the outcome of the competition is. So I'm Danielle Roberts, and I'm from PRP High School. I'm a senior currently, and I think it's cool that we get to come here into a competition because there's a bunch of other girls from a, whole, a bunch of different schools, and you get to test out your skills and you get to see like how other people evaluate and make up their decisions on how they build stuff and like what they do first and I think it's cool because I I don't know I'm just going like a step at a time here and I'm working on the competition to work on my skills so that in the future whenever I go into welding for whatever part that I want to be in I can kind of test my skills and see how I'm going. So my dad, he's a millwright. He's been in welding for like as long as I knew. And he actually showed me it whenever I was like maybe five and I just stuck with it and I thought it was really cool. And you know, you don't see a lot of girls do it and it's not publicly shown. So being able to be a girl welder and do that, it's cool. So that's why I wanted to do it. That's how my future's going so far. But when you're working on the project, just worry about that welding. Yeah. Okay. When, when you're done with that weld, if you okay. don't know it or you're not sure about it, don't stretch, let it go. Yeah. That's only one part. Okay. You see Thank what I'm saying? You. So you do great on what you do know, and don't worry about your dog. Okay. okay. Thank you. And then give us some feedback how it goes yeah. at the end, you know, because this is the first time we've ever done it. And I don't really want to modify. I know that I talked to him that you can go, you can go up, but you can't go back. Yeah. Okay. We'll be here to help. Okay. So when you yeah. you're ready for help. Yeah. I would say ahead. this would be a special circumstance yeah. if we concentrate well, so well, you yeah. got to pull. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
I'm like, sorry. You want to see Elvis here? It's like I was just here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> strips on the on the track torch here and then we're going to um, we're going to be welding those up all right now the track torch is set up perfectly right now so when we cut this on the track torch i'll go ahead and cut this piece for you now remember i do not want I do not want this track torch cutting all the way up against this table. I don't want it cutting all the way up against the um, the torch feeder itself, okay? Because it's going to heat everything up. This has got electrical components in it. So we want to try to keep things out as far as we can, okay? So we all understand how to straighten the torch up. You hear it, right? You hear how that sounds? It doesn't need to be any harsher, any harsher than that. Okay, if we've got it too loud, you hear that? That's so good. Okay, that's so good. So you want to make sure that you dial it down. As you see that playing, it's over a quarter of an inch. Over a quarter of an inch. If it's smaller than that, it's going to be burning back there in the tip. And if it burns back into the tip, it's going to overheat everything as well. Okay? So remember, we do not want this torch too close to the unit. We don't want it too close to this table. This spin up table is hard. And the more we heat it, the worse off we're going to be. Okay? So you all all know the drill. How close you need to be, we're not going to be touching it. We're going to do our dry run. We're going to make sure we're as close as we can be to that plate. Set our direction. Let it heat up. There might be some sparks coming this way, sir, so you might want to be careful. All right. We don't want to fire nobody up. Appreciate it. So when it's ready, See how I got a pair of pliers? We're going to grab it with a pair of pliers. As soon as it's done, we stop it. Okay, so now, I've got a piece ready to weld. Uh, Jerry, it's hurt. Yeah. How can you do it?
so when you before you get to the end of your electrode, you need to start getting that keyhole started, okay? And then that'll allow you to make your restart when you start over again. Do the same, okay? So you just got to be careful of your fit up. Make sure that you get, yeah. And you can open it up a little bit at the top versus the bottom. So as you're welding, okay? As you're welding, it'll start.